go over my code real quick. I've got it uh, working and printing out stuff. I'll explain how I did it a little bit, and then I'll look at your code, Paul, and see, uh, point out a couple things to get you started in the right direction. Um, first, uh, let's take a look. I entered in a bunch of numbers, and now I have a bunch of print statements so we can see uh, the insertion uh, sort at work. Um, first, uh, index i has been set to 1, which means we're going to stick 30 into temporary memory. The number 40 is bigger than 30, so we're going to uh, uh, put spot number 1, which is currently 30. Uh, we're going to fill that up with spot uh, 40. So now we have two 40s in the row, um, which means we're out of the while loop, and we're going to uh, put 30, which is in temporary memory, into spot 0. Now here's what the list looks like. 30, 40. So we did the three part swap. Um, index i has been set to 2. That means we have 22 now stored in uh, temporary memory. Um, I'm going uh, spot number 40 is bigger than spot 2, currently 22, with spot 1. Um, oh, sorry, I read two statements at once. Uh, so because 40 is bigger than 22, um, we're going to set spot 2 with uh, 40. So now we're, we'll have two 40s here. And now we uh, index j, the inner loop, is going to go down 1. And so um, we have current spot 1, 40, uh, is going to be set to uh, 30. And now we stick 22 uh, into this spot. Right. OK. And so now we have um, this setup. Now we're setting index, and this will be my last one. Uh, now we'll look at 45, and we store this in temporary memory. So this is going to get overridden a bunch of times, and then uh, we'll stick uh, 45. Actually, it, it's immediately done with the while loop because it realizes this is not bigger, this is not bigger, this is not bigger. Index is now less than zero, so we're done. Um, and so it leaves the while loop. And we're going to stick uh, 45 in spot 3. That's where it already is. So we didn't, didn't go down anymore. Um, so boom, there we are. Um, index i has been set to 4, and this will definitely be my last one. But last one didn't count because it was uh, no moves. Um, so index is, uh, that means we're storing 17. Okay, we're gonna, this has got to shuffle all the way down to the beginning. That's why this one's long, because um, it's going to go shuffle, 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 shuffle. Um, so uh, we're going to switch it with 45, and then we're going to switch it with 30. And then we're going to switch it with, uh, sorry, 45, 40, 30, and then we're going to switch it with 22. Um, and now the number we're sorting is it is both uh, hit the zero index and uh, the n there's no number before it that's smaller than our value to sort. So we're done. Um, and there's what we have at the moment. And now we're setting the index up to the next one, and we keep going. Okay. So hopefully that helps to illustrate the insertion sort process and what's happening in the thinking. Um, so here is my code. Um, I want if, if you're going to model yours after this, I want some different statements. I want you actually thinking about this. So it's the same sort, the, the index starting at 1, going to the end. Um, and then there's a nested loop inside. I'm using a while loop here. Um, you can totally use a for loop the way that we were looking at it uh, previously, but I think this is a little bit easier for me, uh, trying to get my head around it and get very comfortable with it. Having a different type of loop on the interior uh, makes a little bit more sense, especially it being a while loop because of the conditions that it's uh, that's happening. We just want we want it to keep repeating as long as these two things happen, which just means I need to make the uh, uh, increment uh, manually, so j minus minus at the end of this while loop. Uh, so the, ignore the printout commands at the moment, and all it does is that um, if I haven't reached the end of the list and the value that I'm sorting uh, isn't is smaller than the uh, numbers before it, um, then 
then make a switch and then drop it down and then make a switch again and then drop it down and make a switch keep on going until I either hit zero or that the number before it isn't smaller and it's always going to be sorted out in the list because um, because I start at one and because I start on this first number the number before it is going to get sorted that means when I move forward as soon as I hit a number that isn't is no longer bigger so as soon as 30 as soon as I find that 30 is bigger than 22 I don't need to check the next one because I've been sorting along the way as soon as I find a number that uh, is bigger than the one I'm currently sorting I can trust that I can leave the while loop because everything else is sorted uh, before that um, okay and then lastly uh, the last step after I uh, leave my while loop I take my temporary memory and I stick it at whatever my current counter is so just to get it out of my temporary memory I stick it uh, wherever I uh, finished counting so uh, that's my whole sort of insertion cert uh, method you've got some problems here uh, on yours well first you were using get um, and not set and you're using an equal sign if you're going to use set you have to use the location comma and then the value you want to use it so you need to uh, set this up so if I wanted um, to use the set command I'd have to use temp like that and get rid of the equal sign remember it's an array list and so it uses methods we can't use the equal sign uh, as freely because you're just going to set up you're going to redirect pointers instead of uh, establishing values um, also instead of creating ints with a small i let's create integers with a big i um, which is called a wrapper class it allows us to use an integer inside an array list and other more object uh, issues because now it's a uh, it's an instantiated object uh, instead of a primitive um, so that's where where this comes from um, you're almost you're pretty much almost there um, already um, in fact I think this largely would work um, you would need to just uh, fill it up with um, print statements and make sure that you have it all working but that was the big uh, thing that you needed to fix sets instead of uh, equal signs um, I hope that helps clear some things up if you're still confused by all means uh, let me know